Floppy. And it's sung by a knob And it's played by a twat We use the fluid axis through the SRI And for all of the tracks, the quality's high Sam played guitar, and I played the keys And drums we fudged together piece by piece and piece But sadly it's crap because it's written by punks So it's a brand new genre called Catastrophe Floppy So that's quite enough of that. But we wanted to see if we could produce a track using nothing more than a single Fluid Audio Axis microphone, the SRI2 USB audio interface, the FX80 near-field coaxial monitors we reviewed back in January, and the company's Focus headphones. And for a super budget setup, we were quite surprised at just how good they can sound. And with much of the world hitting on tough times, this could be a great entry level option for anyone looking to get into recording at home. So let's start by looking at the tech specs of this, the Axis microphone. And it's worth noting that every bit of audio you're hearing in this video has been recorded with this very mic using the SRI2 interface and monitored on the FX80s and Focus headphones for mixing. The Fluid Audio Axis is a large diaphragm condenser microphone coming in at £195 in the UK, offering a 34mm gold sputtered cardioid polar pattern diaphragm and a frequency range of 20Hz to 20kHz. The microphone can handle a maximum SPL of 136dB, ensuring a distortion free recording on pretty much any source. Discrete Class A FET electronics feature a transformer coupled output, providing low noise operation, and the physical microphone is well built and feels high quality, and is accompanied in the case box by a shock mount, pop filter, and a great quality braided cable. The Focus headphones offer a 20Hz to 20kHz frequency response, and their 50mm neodymium drivers offer good quality audio at all volume levels. Their semi-open design allows for a great bass response yet good isolation, with a 3 meter cable allowing you to move around your workstation easily whilst using them. The headphones come in at just £50, so a great deal and they sound pretty good indeed for the money. The SRI2 interface is a great bit of kit and the best of the bunch for us. The build quality of this interface is second to none at the price point and I gave it to Mark for a few days to check out on our main monitoring system here and asked him how much he thought it cost and then guessed at around £379, bye bye floppy. Actually it's half that at £168. It's a two in, two out audio interface with two XLR and TRS combo inputs and two pairs of TRS outputs for two pairs of speakers. The first thing we should come to, and arguably the first thing you'll notice when using the SRI2, is the fantastic volume knob at the front centre of the unit. This is, and we both agree on this, the best volume knob we have ever used on anything ever. It's the perfect size to be comfortable, the weighting's perfect, it's super comfortable and it has a rubber surround which gives great grip during use. The rest of the controls, the knobs and buttons, are all very solid and feel high quality and we love the little lights on the gain knobs that indicate their position. The faceplate and main body of the SRI2 is metal and the general build quality is very high. It feels like it would survive many years use within a studio environment. In terms of conversion quality, we both think it sounds ever so slightly on the creamy side of neutral in a very good way. And um, we really love this interface, highly recommended. Finally, we have the FX80 coaxial near field monitors and we reviewed these back in January. So check out that video popping up on your screen in just a moment. All in all, the Fluid ecosystem offers exceptional value for money with the Axis microphone sounding every bit as good as its contemporaries, such as the Rode NT1A. And there is absolutely no reason why you couldn't create some great sounding recordings with this kit, unless you're us. Thanks so much for watching and you'll see us in the next one. Thank you.